hey guys welcome back to my channel so I'm in the middle of doing a get ready with me I'm in New York City right now I'm in the hotel bathroom but I got this foundation the other day at Ulta when I was doing some makeup shopping and this is the Becca ultimate full coverage 24 hour foundation and I got the color vanilla now I wanted to kind of do a wear test a little put it on see how I like it see how it affects my skin see the full coverage and just kind of do a little review and like first impressions on how this product works it does say it's 24 hour coverage I am going to be going out with my son and my mom in a little bit to walk the streets in New York it's a little chilly so I want to see how this foundation holds up Hopefully this shade matches my skin, but if not, we can bronze up our face. It's better to go a little lighter than too dark, in my opinion. But I first just have to say I really love the packaging of this. It's really sleek, really pretty, and the guy at Ulta recommended this to me when I told him I was looking for a full coverage foundation. This is what we're going to try out. I do not have a primer here in New York with me. I actually need to buy a new one. I should have bought one when I was, you know, in Ulta, but it just... It slipped my mind. I had my son with me, my friend Emily was with me, so my mind was more focused on Isaiah, trying to make sure he wasn't like pulling makeup down and all of that. So next time I will get a primer, but we are just going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and also just putting on the foundation. I did put on a little bit of my son's lotion on my face because my skin is like really, really dry. I think it might be just, you know, the weather changing, it's getting colder, so I'm going to put just a little bit more on. I'm also using the James Charles palette. This is what's on my eyes right now, if you guys are curious, but I am filming a little get ready with me in the bathroom, so you guys will see that video too. But this is what the pump looks like. Really nice. I like that a lot. I love the foundation that comes with a pump. The one that I'm using, which I'm going to be using this one, but the, oh, they look similar in color. Okay, good. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match, and this one doesn't have a pump, and I just prefer a foundation that has a pump. I feel like it's less messy, so I'm just going to pump a little bit on here and just kind of start on my cheeks. Oh yeah, this is the perfect color, I feel like, for my skin tone. And this is in the color Vanilla for anyone that has around the same skin tone as me. This one might work for you. Already, I love the coverage. It's definitely full coverage. I might do like one more pump on the cheek area once I blend it out if it's not... Wow, that actually looks really good. And it blends out beautifully. I find that a full coverage foundation sometimes can be very, like, hard to blend out. He also told me at Ulta that this was perfect for people that have oily skin because it's a mattifying formula, I believe. That's what I believe that he said. This is the ultimate coverage foundation by Becca. Oh yeah, this is really nice, you guys. As I get it on my freshly done brows that I'm going to have to fix up. I'm actually going to put my Shape Tape Concealer um, underneath my eyes, so we'll see how those two formulas like mend together. I'm going to spray a little bit of my Morphe times Jeffree Star. Alright, so I really like the coverage of this. I don't want to put like too much and especially since I do feel like I have a nice coverage right now. So I'm going to let that kind of set on my skin for a few minutes and I'm going to come in with my shape tape and I'm using the color Fair Neutral. I'm going to set my under eye with my Wet n Wild loose powder. And then to set my face, I'll just use the same powder. I really love the coverage. I haven't had like a, a higher end full coverage foundation in a while, so this is really nice. I'm going to do my bronzer, 
with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And I'm also gonna put on a little bit of Lauren Geller Baked Brulee Blush in Berry Cream. And then my highlighter, the Jeffree Star 24 Karat Palette. I use the color Sarcophagus. It's one of my favorite highlighters. Okay, you guys, so I still gotta put my lipstick on and do my mascara. But this is what the foundation looks like with my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter. Let me put some setting spray. So I absolutely, so far, I'm loving the coverage. I really needed a good full coverage foundation. This one was, I believe, $42, or like $40, $42, um, and I love it totally worth the amount of money and when you're looking to get a good quality higher end foundation I don't really think 40 bucks 42 bucks is that much because I used to buy the MAC ones which are around 30 32 35 so plus Becca is a really known brand but yeah we're gonna check in in a few hours to see if this is creasing if, if I look too oily we'll just see we'll check it out in a few hours once I get back to the hotel room and we'll see how this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 hour foundation holds up in New Okay guys, so it's been around four, four and a half hours since I've done my foundation. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I think that my foundation still looks phenomenal. Like, really full coverage, really flawless. Let me turn you guys around so you can see that this is what it looks like. I know some of the product around my nose is coming off only because it was so cold and my nose was kind of starting to run, but um, that's the only reason for that. I don't really see like any creasing. Um, the concealer underneath always does that to underneath my eyes, so I know that that's the concealer. And my liquid lipstick is coming off, I apologize. And like everything else seems to be super, super flawless. Maybe a little creasing around like where I smile right here. This to me looks flawless and I am just loving this foundation so far. We will check back in in a few more hours just to see how it's held up now that we're in the hotel room. But so far, love it. Really recommend. Right now, we're not sure how it's going to look later, but right now I do recommend this foundation. Hey divas, so it is 11.05 right now and this is what the foundation is looking like. You guys can see like around my nose. It is starting to like get a little cakey, um, mostly just on top and underneath. Um, everything else, honestly, to me, looks really good. Um, you know, like I said, around my smile lines, I think that would just happen with any foundation because of the creases when I smile. Also, a little bit of a crease right here where my nose is. But other than that, I am loving this foundation. Maybe a little bit like down on my chin too but my skin is so 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 dry so if I get a new primer and I moisturize I moisturize put a primer put the foundation maybe it would look a little different but I think when I started this at 1 o'clock so for 10 hours it says it's 24 hour wear but for 10 hours to me this held up really really good my eyelash is actually falling off and my foundation is still holding on so that's amazing gorgeous and I do recommend this foundation it's a full coverage foundation and it really gives you that flawless look which I love um, I'm not sure if you're more of like a light coverage medium coverage but I am more of a full coverage girl I love a full coverage foundation so being out in the New York streets in the rain because it was raining now laying on the bed with my son his head was hit in my face uh, eating food. I have to admit that the Shape Tape Concealer normally creases on me so much more with other foundations that I use and my concealer is still holding up amazing 10 hours later. Like it's not like 
sometimes with certain foundations my concealer looks like oh she's wearing concealer kind of like a flashback in a way like I can tell the difference my concealer to me still looks really intact and I feel like that is because it's on top of a good base for it the foundation so I really really love this foundation and I believe let me check my all let me check how much it is so this foundation is $44 but I have to say I wouldn't mind to keep repurchasing this $44 foundation just because I really like the coverage I like the way it feels I like the way that it looks on my skin and I love a flawless foundation so I would keep repurchasing this so I hope that you guys enjoyed this little first impressions demo how it held up I will do more of these in the future when I get new products if you guys would like to see a first impressions and how the product holds up you guys can definitely let me know the James Charles palette has to be one of my favorite palettes right now the pigmentation is gorgeous it hasn't worn off like it is stunning so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you divas in my next one bye guys